The descriptive statistics table presents the mean and standard deviation of the children's ratings for each of the toys. Here we can see that the kite does seem to have a slightly higher average rating than the other toys. Below this we have Morkley's test of sphericity. This is used for testing the assumption of sphericity. Now as this is not significant we can see that this assumption has been met. Next, we have the tests within subjects effects. This presents the main ANOVA results. As the assumption of sphericity was not violated, we read the results from the sphericity assumed row. And here we can see that our independent variable, type of toy, significantly related to children's ratings. The table also contains the information that we need for the write-up. More specifically, the test statistic, which we denote with an italicized letter F. The degrees of freedom, which we denote with an italicized DF. And the significance level, or p-value. Next, in the estimated marginal mean section, the pairwise comparisons shows the differences in ratings between each of the toys and whether these differences were significant. You could write up the findings like this. A repeated measures ANOVA indicated that the children's ratings were significantly different between the four toys. You would then report your F statistic, degrees of freedom, and p-value. You could then report the results of the post hoc testing from the pairwise comparisons table. Finally, you should also report an effect size. Information about how to do this is provided in StatHand.